Now it's time for your news break. Happy Monday everyone, Derek Brizen 9 here with the Daily Star Journal's news break. Johnson County football teams went 2-3 and three Friday night in the first action of the high school football regular season. We kick things off in center view, where Corey Creason and the Cougars opened their season against the Archie Whirlwinds. First drive, Crestridge quarterback Avery Matthews finds Wyatt Simpson, who secures the catch but is unable to hang on after the contact. Luckily for the Cougars, though, Dalton Evans recovers the fumble to keep the drive alive. Later in the drive, Matthews scrambles from the pocket and picks up a big time block from Hayden Ridge to make it a more manageable fourth down. Crestridge would stall out on its first drive, but the defense did its thing as it did all night to return the favor. A storm came close to delaying the game Friday, but stayed just north up along I-70 as the teams went back and forth on the gridiron. Archie looked to have gained momentum in the third as the Cougars fumbled the ball and gave the Whirlwinds their best field position of the night, but a Joe Davis pick six on the next play helped Crestridge take its first lead of the night and go up 7-0. Start of the fourth, Gage Shaw finds Gage Limbler to make it 7-6. Archie took its chance at a two-point conversion that came up just short as the Cougars held on to win 7-6. To the scoreboard now, Knob Noster opened its season with a 51-30 loss to Versailles, while Chill Howie notched its first win of the season with a 28-22 win over Osceola. Back to the turf now, as it was a battle of the Tigers at Walton Stadium with Warrensburg hosting Excelsior Springs. Late in the third quarter, Landon Seeley on a 14-yard pitch dives for the end zone as the visiting Tigers went on to win 23-0 in Chris Cavanaugh's debut at Warrensburg. It's disappointing and a lot of things we need to watch the film and, and take a look at, but there were some things we did well tonight. It's disappointing that we couldn't offensively get anything together and score, but we had some things that did go well. Wrapping the night up on the scoreboard, Holden fell to Plattsburgh 39-18. That's all we have for you now. Find more news and feature stories in Tuesday's Daily Star Journal. Thanks for watching.